Okay, so we're going to um, prepare some yogurt. So it's going to be a natural yogurt. We're going to use some um, whole milk. So what I've done is I've taken a one liter of whole milk and I've added it into my um, container here. Now I've heated that milk up to about 50 degrees and I've weighed out um, some skim milk powder. So the skim milk powder will give the yogurt a bit more body. All right, so once I do that, I'm going to mix in the skim milk powder. Now, usually I add the skim milk powder at about 2%. Uh, 2%. Um, now, we're going to mix it like this here, but the, the mi this mixing is not good enough. We need to mix it a wee bit better and put it into the, uh, maybe with a hand blender. Okay, so it is mixing a bit there because I, I have the, the temperature of the water nice and warm. But you see there's still lumps, some lumps coming through there, so we need to get well mixed. Yeah, that's much better. Now we're going to bit some, cover it over with some tin foil, and we're going to write this is whole milk, so it's going to be whole milk yogurt. And in here, uh, you can see here, we have a water bath, and I have it sitting at 85 degrees. All right, so our first step was to add the skim milk powder to a preheated uh, milk, about 50 degrees, and now we're going to pasteurize the milk. So we add in the milk to here for uh, 85 minutes, all right? So after 85 minutes, you take the sample of uh, milk out, which I have done already, and you allow it to cool. Now you cool it to about 37 degrees and before check there, let's just double check the temperature. Yeah, it's just there at about 38 degrees. What we do now is I'll take, take that out. I had it sitting in the uh, cold water to, to get it, um, the temperature drop from 85 to 30. Uh, 37 but we're sitting about 30 38 degrees at the minute and I'm going to add my starter culture now the starter culture I'm using today is YC380 it's from Christian Hansen's so this is the bacteria that's going to uh, work on the milk and change it um, change it into yogurt all right so I've taken uh, 10 mil 10 grams of that I've added into a little bit of milk I've mixed it around I added it into my pasteurized milk. So we pasteurized our milk. Now we're inoculating our milk with the starter culture. So like every bacteria, it needs time to grow. So we're gonna put the um, whole milk culture um, with the yogurt, or this whole milk, um, whole milk sample with the, uh, what's it called, the, the starter culture, and we're going to put it into the incubator at 37 degrees overnight. So this is our incubator, and I have one already that I put in yesterday that I'm going to take out now. So you know when it's yogurt when the pH has reached about 4.6. All right, so 4.6 and below. Um, so our, I checked it earlier and we were sitting at 4.5. So you can see you'll always have this little bit away once you take it out of the um, incubator. But when you want to work with yogurt, you always work with it when it's still warm. All right, so I'm gonna give it a nice stir. And look, you can see there's a lovely sheen to it. And Lovely, there's no bits or anything like that to it. There's a really good smell off it, really good yogurty smell off it. And I was just starting to put it into the pots here now. Okay, so we can put the yogurt into all these pots and I have some lids from a, a previous work and you can put it on like, uh, put the lid on here and then you can iron that lid on. So you'll end up with fresh uh, natural yogurt. Now, if you wanted to have a fruit yogurt, you could add a bit of fruit to it, mix it around. Or we can keep that yogurt and add it to our cluster. So we have a cluster and yogurt uh, product. So we can have a natural yogurt product, we could have um, add some fruit to it, so we could have a fruit yogurt product, or we could have fruit with clusters.